Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Alt Red Nuzlocke. Today we have ourselves the Vermilion Gym right in front of us. So as a quick team recap, we have ourselves Titan, the Bristrill, Rock Poison type, holding the Lucky Egg because I would still like to get this a couple more levels as it does have Dig, which is a lot of uh, good damage against electric types. Very fast physical attacker, Poison Sting, Dig, Accelerock, and Cut, which might be interesting as we did pick up Cut last episode, which was a base 65 power grass move with a high crit ratio. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. We won't want it at the end of the game, but it's not bad for right now. Um, we have ourselves a good old Benafi, finally. We have ourselves Roland Evolved. This is our ground type. This is kind of what I'm going to expect to be relying on for a lot of the gym. Um, physically defensive Pokemon as Oblivious, not that that really matters, but... Mudshot, Magnitude, we can hit things on the physical or special side, depending on what we think they're going to be weaker to. It's kind of a guessing game, which I don't love. We'll probably use Mudshot a lot, but we'll see. Uh, we have ourselves Bar Stomp, Bunt, good old Bunt. Still, you know, holding the black glasses for some reason. We don't really have anything better. It does have Guts, which actually is very relevant in Electric-type gym, because we might get paralyzed, which means this thing will become very, very strong very very quickly we also have brick break on this pokemon which is a very high base power move at this point in the game so bun could be very very good as well i'm feeling confident i'm feeling confident now that i've said that everything's going to come crashing down but i'm feeling confident we have ignisaur our starter ignis um fire type moves neutral we might use it we might not we'll see it's falling a little bit behind in levels so probably less likely to come in than most we have tiller off good old grubbo with its lonely nature good physical attack good speed has Yawn, finally has a Stab Electric-type move. Not that that really matters for an Electric-type gym, but it does have a Stab Electric-type move with Needle Arm and Brake Swipe as well. We might use this if we want, you know, quad resistance to Electric, which, you know, probably pretty useful. And then we have Meowxie, our Shiny, who is here to fake out things that are at 1 HP, <laughs> if we need it. That's pretty much the reason why that's there. Persian is close, though. Persian is close. Normally, it would be a level 28 thing. We are not too far away from that. So... With this team, let's go ahead and see how tough this gym is going to be. I considered leveling up, but I decided against it because we haven't had too much trouble lately, other than the Wigglytuff bug. Yo, Champ in the Making, Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird, bird type? Bird type? Who wrote, who wrote bird type here? Who did this? A bird type, flying type, and water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. Do you wear paralysis too? No, I want to be paralyzed on Bunt. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. Well, first things first, we're going to battle the trainers because I want XP. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good. I'm interested in seeing the Pokemon that we might encounter. So far, we've seen Growlithe, and that's like... Well, Growlithe and Grubbo are the main electric types that I'm thinking of. That looks electric fairy. That's a clown. And I'm not just saying that because it's pink. I'm saying that also because it's got like a sparkle in its eyes, which is kind of like that red lens flare meme you see when something's going like fully aggressive hyper. But I'm going to click Poison Sting and we're going to see if it's super effective. It is super effective. Nice. Not quite a one-shot. Oh, but we do get the poison, which will KO it. With Air Cutter. Probably Electric Fairy with Flying Coverage, because it's a, normally a Merc Crow. The Bon Jovi Merc Crow. <laughs> That's definitely how they intended that. They definitely put Jovi there for Bon Jovi and not anything else. Definitely not Jovi or... Oh! Oh, well, that's better than I was expecting. Am I getting rid of Cut already? I mean, I'm learning Rock Slide, right? That's that's a no-brainer. We need Dig for this gym, especially, and Ground and Rock coverage is nice together. Poison Sting is our stab for moments like Jovi Crow. Um, yeah, I guess we're getting rid of Cut already on Titan. That coverage was not very um, long-lasting. We could have maybe got rid of Accelerock by like having an 100% accurate move and I like priority, so yeah. Ampom, I'm gonna stay in and dig. Rock Slide is a really good move to have early. That's really strong. 
I like hitting rock slide. I... I was thinking we would learn, like, sludge or something was kind of what I was thinking would happen next. But no, that's a good move. That's a very good move. It does mean that we're going to need to teach Cut to something else to get out of this gym. Because <laughs> at the moment, we are... We're trapped. Just a reminder that, um, yeah, that country respawns, so we do have to teach something else to cut. We'll probably teach Grubbo cut instead of Needle Arm, um, when we want to leave. But yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny that we are currently trapped. Um, but I will take it for Rock Slide. That is a great move. Accelerock being 100% accurate and priority is just very needed, though. Wrongish? I mean, I know it's an electric type oddish because, you know, it's in the electric type gym, but also it's just a plug. It's just a plug. Um, I'm just going to click dig. I'm slightly worried that it could be part steel because plugs are metal at the end of the day and we are weak to steel. So that is something to keep in mind. But, you know, plugs are also very electric. If it is steel, then this is four times super effective. The only thing we'd have to be afraid of would be sturdy, which... Let's be real, plugs aren't sturdy. They're just not. Plugs aren't sturdy. We do hit level 25 on Titan, which is nice, which is nice. Glue mill. Is this the, just, just gloom? Or is this something like a gloomy Azuril or Azumarill? No, we've seen Maril and it was Garil, not glue mill. So this is probably gloom. Um, I'm gonna go to Roland, our ground type, and we're going to go for a good old mud shot, probably. That is, in fact, a gloom. That's just a propeller slammed straight onto its skull. I like the kind of solar panel mouth. I'm a little bit concerned as to why it's still drooling out of a solar panel mouth. This is a weird sprite. This is a very weird sprite. We do outspeed, which is nice. Level 21 as well, not too scary. And just goes down to one mud shot. Okay, nice. We love to see it. And Engineer Bailey goes down. Okay. Nothing, nothing scary so far. Nothing scary so far. They've all seemed like pretty ordinary electric types. I'm going to put... I kind of want to put Bunt in front. I also kind of just want to heal the paralysis and keep lucky egging with Beedrill. So I'm just going to heal up Beedrill, I guess. You know, it's got the Lucky Egg. I want it to gain the XP. It's a very strong Pokemon, and I want to take advantage of it while it's very strong. Because I believe that when we start getting, like, Slacking and Venusaur, uh, Beedrill's going to seem worse. So I want to use it while it's good. Plasma. Ooh. You don't have a Butthead. Instead, you have Alien Antennae and, like, Dinosaur Tail. Yet it still looks goofy. I guess I'm just going for dig. You don't have anything scary, right? You're not gonna like earthquake me. I'm so afraid of getting earthquake. If if any ground type move comes out, we are so done with Petrill. Petrill disappears in the blink of an eye. It pops out of existence like it was never there in the first place. 1233 XP, hot damn. Stop, you're very good. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, okay. I'm going to just go ahead and slap one singular potion, and then we're fully healed. Because we don't currently have cut to go and heal elsewhere, so let's see how miserable this is. Generally, it's, you know, you find the first one, and then it's whatever one is to the side of it. Switch. Okay, so it could be left, right, or down. I'm going with trusty left. Pain. Pain. Well, just to confirm, it's not going to use the same one, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yup. Yup. Switch. Left. I hate it here. I hate this gym. I will always hate this gym. <laughs> always. <laughs> Listen, left will work one of these times. It will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the second to last one. Left. 
pain. Switch. Do I dare go left again? Oh. <gasps> I betrayed my instincts and it worked. Okay, okay. Well, is there any changes we want to make right now? We don't have any, like, soft sand or anything. We do have a poison barb that we could put onto Beedrill. Uh, but I'm going to stick with the Lucky Egg, honestly. I don't think there's anything that I want to change. We don't have, like, a bunch of citrus berries. I think we just go. And we see how it is. I do, just to clarify, I do have Roland in second, just in case this ends up being a double battle. We'll see. I was warned about double battles. I have not forgotten. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. Not with your puny power. I tell you, kid. Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. Same as I'll do to you. Can you do that to Bunt? Can you paralyze Bunt with a Thunder Wave? And then Bunt just, like, one-shot your entire team. That'd be cool. Five Pokemon. Eelix. I don't trust that. I don't trust eel. I don't trust the word eel. I don't trust an eel onyx. I don't like... Don't get me wrong. I understand that Tynamo is a pure electric type. I understand that. But I don't trust Elix. I'm going straight to Grubbo. This is going to be a very common theme. I'm going to Grubbo. I'm going to Grubbo. I feel like this is safe. Thunder Wave. That's annoying. That's annoying, especially considering we are an electric type, but, you know, earlier gen mechanics. Um... I'm gonna even just heal it. I'm just gonna paralyze heal. That's all I'm gonna do. We're gonna see what else it can do. If I just heal the paralysis, what will you do? Dragon Tail. Ooh, that was a crit. Okay, that's how much a crit did. Which means that we can live a crit. That is good to know. I'm gonna click Needle Arm. We outspeed still as well. It is super effective and it does just KO. Okay, damn. Um, nice. I'm gonna assume that was Water Electric, which is really what Tynamo should have been all along. Titan level 26. Nice, nice. One more speed. Linode. Linode, we have fought before with Ignis, and it was fine. However, Linode, we also worked out, was Bug, and we have Rock Slide now. The Titan might be really useful for other things. Ignis might only be useful for this. I'm going to Ignis. I'm going to Ignis. It is only level 22. So maybe this was dumb. The node's 23. I I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna fire spin. We get Thunder Wave. Yeah, that's expected. That's expected. Just don't be fully paralyzed and land the fire spin. Good. Good. Half. Ooh, nice. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. Don't get me wrong. I want to get Bunt paralyzed, but I don't think it's going to Thunder Wave twice. So I think I'm just going to click Fire Spin again. I'm not... I'm not too afraid. I'm a little... Well, I'm a little bit afraid. If it whips out like Thunderbolt, mm, that could be scary. But I'm going to Fire Spin again. Shockwave. That was what it used before when we fought one of these on a previous route. That was a crit. Okay. Well, we lived the crit. We, we lived the scary thing. We lived the scary thing. That was the worst thing that could have happened. We got fully paralyzed and crit. That was the worst possible turn, but we lived it. We lived it. Um, yeah, that, however, is scary. That is scary. It is. It just is. Um, but we can live its scariest move. Well, we can't live two, and we don't exactly have, like, a full restore. Um... We could go to Grubbo, take the Shockwave, but then it's weak to Bug. And that's not what we want. I guess we're going to Roland. I don't want to bring in Roland this early because I don't want Roland to get hit and lose its big fat HP. I guess Titan will outspeed and can just KO it with an Accelerock. It doesn't need to outspeed to KO with an Accelerock, but I guess it can take a hit and then return with Accelerock. How much special defense do you have? You have 35, whereas 
you had 38. So, I mean, we should live a crit just fine. Even if it crits. We have so much more HP. We're just going to Titan. I wanted to try and use Ignis for one fight. It could have went well if we didn't get paralyzed or we didn't get crit, but we got both. So, that's what it is. We lived that just fine. Accelerock should finish. Did the fire spin stop because I swapped out? It seemed like it. It seemed like it. I'll be honest, I don't use fire spin. Zang solo. Oh. Oh. Um. What Pokemon ends in solo? Zang, like, zip, zip, zap, zoop. <laughs> and solo. Poor solo. No, that's not. And solo. That's not. Am I going to Roland? Or am I going to Bunt? I think I'm going to Roland. I think I'm going to Roland for this. I'm going to my big tanky boy who's full HP and is a ground type. What is Zang solo? Oh, Zang. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Where do I get this? Where do I get this? I need this as my encounter. That's so cool. I'm a sucker for Zangus, and I'm a sucker for shiny Zangus, where I get the blue, and that's like the dream. That's such a cool Zangus. That's such a cool sprite. It's gonna murder me, isn't it? Also, the Zang was the part of his name, not the solo. Why? This is Zangus, so why is solo part of its name. I'm very confused. You're not. This looks like it should be a fire ice type, honestly. Um. Mud shot? Please don't murder me. Swords. Oh, okay. We're fine. All right. Okay. I was, I was scared. I was scared. I was scared. I was very scared. Okay, it got one shot. That thing must have just had all of the attack, all of the speed, none of the defenses. Killer off. This we know. We have one of these. This we know. We're not fine against. I'm okay with this. Um, how are we dealing with it is the question. We know that it's probably going to be running... Well, it has Spark at level 20. Is this going to be level 26? Because that's when we got Spark, so it would have Electric-type coverage in the Electric-type gym. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. We could go to our own. Because we have Break Swipe on ours, and we could lower its attack and stuff. Or we could go to Bunt. Bunt would also be very neutral. I'm going to bring in Bunt here. Bunt should be neutral. I think Bunt will be okay. We can lower its attack with a break type. Level 24. So it shouldn't have Spark. If it uses Spark, that's illegal. I'm going to break swipe. Needle Arm. Yep, that's going to hurt a bit. Not too bad. Gets the flinch, though, unfortunately. That did 24 damage. We have 49 HP. We should be fine. I'm going to go for break swipe again. Yawn. Unfortunately, I can't make use of that with Guts. I wish I could. I wish I could make use of that with Guts. Break Swipe doesn't do too much damage, which is expected, I guess. Um, We're just going to try and get a good chunk of damage off with a Brick Break here. Needle Arm again. No crit, but flinches again. I'm bringing in my own. I'm bringing in Grubbo. Grubbo's got this. Grubbo's gonna break swipe him down. Keep needle arming. See if I care. I'm not afraid of you. Six damage? Pathetic. Pathetic. I'm break swiping. We're lowering your attack. Go ahead. Show that you have something weird. Thunderwave. Okay, well. Couldn't you have used that on Bun? Couldn't you have Thunderwaved Bun? Why did you yawn Bun? My guts boost, man. My guts boost. I'm still just going to click Break Swipe, though. Yawn while I am paralyzed. Also, I have Vital Spirit because I am this Pokemon, but also while I am paralyzed is a odd choice. Still going to click Break Swipe. We're Super Potioning this. I'm okay with that because this doesn't have anything scary. The one thing I have learned from my own Grubbo is this thing gets no coverage. 
it learned an electro type move for the first time at level 26. So you have nothing. Break swipe was a TM. We've seen Yawn, Thunder Wave, and Needle Arm. We haven't seen the fourth move though. That is something mildly concerning. Um, I don't remember what we had before this move set, to be honest. Probably like Scratch. <laughs> if I had to be, I think it's probably Scratch. So at the moment, I'm really not afraid of this. I'm just gonna keep break swiping. We still have a full HP. Oh my god. Okay, we're really burning through these super potions. We still have a full HP. Um, by Naffy in the back. So I'm just not afraid. Even if this crits, we saw that the damage it did when we first came in was practically nothing. Right? It was like six damage. So if it crits, it's gonna do what? Like maybe like 15 if we go with the high end. We get a crit. Nice. I'm expecting like a 15 damage crit on the high end, so I feel completely fine not healing. Um, the only thing that'd be scary is if it whipped out a different move. But it's not showing a fourth move. Which makes me really confused as to what it is. Maybe it's Shockwave? And it's worked out that Needle Arm will do more damage than Shockwave, as this is Lieutenant Surge, uh, Lieutenant Surge's gym. Fear Alt. Fero. Fero? Probably Fero. We have Roland and we have Beedrill. If it is an electric flying type, Beedrill with Rock Slide. Something to consider, but I feel like Roland should be fine. Well, Roland can't use ground moves on a flying type, obviously, but it has ancient power. We have ancient power if it is. Do we go to Beedrill? Fully assuming it's Fero and that I haven't made a mistake, first of all. Because if it ends up being something else, I don't know what else starts with fear. Like, Alt is Bolt. And we saw Spear Alt. So it's gotta be Fear Alt. I think I'm going to Beedrill, and I think I'm gonna Rock Slide. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. It might not be part flying. Rock Slide would still be very good damage, and then we could dig the turn after, because we'll probably outspeed. That is a crazy spray. You're not part grass, right? Well, even if it is, they're certainly neutral. Same as electric, so it wouldn't be that scary. Um. We're clicking Rock Slide. We outsped. We Rock Slide. It is super effective. Fear all goes down. Okay, easy, easy. Also, level 25 ace, the same as Misty, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Lieutenant Surge goes down. Now, to be fair, we had a very good team against electric types. We do have a very good team for electric types. We have many, many electric type resists. We have multiple ground moves. We have a very appropriate team for an electric type gym. We're not running any flying types. We're not running any water types. Right, we came in very well optimized, and we still had, you know, some some Pokemon. We had some scares with Ignis. Ignis was a little bit of a scare, but overall, not bad. Not bad. Oh, cool. Um, right, we can't get out. <laughs> hey. Help. Help. Help me. I can't get out. I can't get free. <laughs> Help me. Okay. Nice. Nice. I am pleased at how well that went. I was really thinking... Um, after that first gym that we were going to be suffering in this playthrough. And we have not been suffering too much. We have not. It's been okay. It's been okay. Uh, we're going to teach Grubbo Cut instead of Needle Arm. Slightly higher base power, slightly higher crit rate. If we can get a scope lens or something, it becomes very nice. But I am a little bit sad at losing to flinch because we have flinched a couple times in some nice spots. So... Losing the flinch is unfortunate, but it is necessary, and at least it's still stab and, you know, a decent move rather than normal cut, like base 50 normal move that's not even 100% accurate. So, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, though. Okay. Nice. Um, we... Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Carlos. How are you doing? It's me, one of Professor Oak's aides. Did you meet the other aide? He had a package from Professor Oak for you, Carlos. He said he'd look for you around Route 2. If you're in the Route 2 area, please look for him. No, <laughs> I don't think I will. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, next episode, we're going to start making our way towards Rock Tunnel. Ugh. Ugh. 
Oh. Oh no, we have to go to Rock Tunnel next, don't we? Oh, that's icky. That's icky. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Gym complete. Next time, we will go and start getting our encounters over towards Rock Tunnel, and we will see how bad Rock Tunnel is going to be, I guess. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above everybody, 